Dermatitis, also known as eczema, it is a group of diseases characterized inflammation of the skin. Common symptoms are, itchiness, red skin and a rash, sometimes blisters when acute, skin thicken when long-term. Dermatitis affects approximately 3.5% of the world population, more common among children and females. Dermatitis and eczema are synonyms but, some people use the term dermatitis implies an acute condition and eczema a chronic one. Some people use eczema specifically mean atopic dermatitis. Many types of dermatitis exists. Atopic dermatitis, is an allergic disease most common in infants and children. Contact dermatitis, is a localized rash and irritation of the skin caused by contact with a foreign substance. For example detergents, wet cement, soaps, cleaning products and etc. Seborrheic dermatitis commonly seen in infants, cradle cap dot looks like dandruff. It causes dry or greasy peeling of the scalp, eyebrows and face and sometimes trunk. Related to lack of biotin and is often curable. Other less common types. Dyshydrosis only occurs on palms, soles and sides of fingers and toes. Bumps called vesicles are initially then thickening, and cracks are accompanied by itching, which gets worse at night. It worsens in warm weather. Lichen simplex chronicus is a localized, well-circumscribed area of thickened skin, lichenification, resulting from repeated rubbing, itching, and scratching of the skin. Numular dermatitis, it is characterized by round or oval-shaped itchy lesions. Stasis dermatitis insufficient venous return causes stasis dermatitis. Also known as varicose eczema. Dermatitis herpetiformis, DH, is a chronic autoimmune blistering skin disease, blisters filled with a watery fluid that is intensely itchy. Dermatitis herpetiformis is a cutaneous manifestation of celiac disease. Eczema herpeticum is a rare but severe disseminated infection that generally occurs at sites where skin is already damaged. Infection cause may be virus for example herpes simplex virus. Prevention, best preventive measure for dermatitis is exclusive breastfeeding of infants during at least the first few months. Management. Most mild cases are managed topical moisturizing agents, emollients, they reduce eczema severity and lead to fewer flares. In children, oil-based formulations appear to be better and water-based formulations are not recommended. If symptoms are well controlled with moisturizers, steroids may only be required when flares occur. Corticosteroids are effective in controlling and suppressing symptoms in most cases. Once daily use is generally enough. For mild-moderate eczema a weak steroid may be used, for example, hydrocortisone, in severe cases higher potency steroid, for example, clobetasol propionate is used. In some severe cases, oral or injectable corticosteroids may be used. They causes rapid improvements, but also have greater side effects. Long-term use of topical steroids may result in skin atrophy, stria, telangiectasia. Antihistamine are not very effective for the relief of dermatitis. Sedative antihistamines such as diphenhydramine, may be useful in those who are unable to sleep due to eczema. Probiotics may have some improvements. There is insufficient evidence to support the use of zinc, selenium, vitamin D, vitamin E, pyridoxine, vitamin B6, sea buckthorn oil, hemp seed oil, sunflower oil, or fish oil as dietary supplements. Ultraviolet light has some effectiveness. Prognosis. Most cases almost 98% are well managed with topical treatments. 60% of young children, the condition subsides by adolescence. Globally dermatitis affected approximately 230 million people as of 2010, 3.5% of the population. 77, dermatitis is most commonly seen in infancy, with female predominance of eczema presentations occurring during the reproductive period of 15 to 49 years.